So I got asked today to do a food photography shoot later this week and you know of course I've only done a few you know via my phone realistically and put them on Instagram but I thought hey this is kind of a fun challenge just to help a friend out like yeah let's do it. Then I realized that <laughs> alright stop right there. Let's run over the few basics of food photography because I've only done it a few times, like I just said, but I know there's a few more tricks to it than just actually taking a camera and going and taking some shots of some food and saying, voila, there we go. Because if that was the case, then everybody that shoots on their phones, on Instagram and everything, on their dinner plate, and they're all standing there doing this and that, and they're trying to bring some light in, all of those people would have millions of followers on Instagram because, you know what, then they would actually be doing something right. So let's run through the basics of food photography real quick from when I gleamed in about 20 minutes of watching YouTube videos. Because, why not, right? First up, for food photography, you're definitely gonna need some light. And a lot of people wanna use natural light, they wanna bounce some light in, whatever, but let's say you don't have that. You're shooting in a restaurant, shooting in a bar, whatever, great. Lights, small, portable, controllable lights. So this is the Aperture ALM9. Love this thing, battery operated. Little diffusion disc on the front, straight on, nice power. I'm actually lighting this side of my face right now with one very well tuned down with a CTO and diffusion in it. Don't ever point this at your eyes when you turn it on because it actually is bright. But I mean, look at that. Look at this, that's just, Boom, that's how that turns on. It's super bright, blows out everything. But I got two of these, obviously, because one's here, one's over there. These are gonna help out massively on this shoot. Cool, so we got lighting, we got gels, what else? Well, obviously you want a good backdrop. You want something to be able to put the food on, make it look really cool. So for me, I've done it before with uh, some wood, uh, reclaimed wood palette, stuff like that. Say you don't have that or you don't want to spend time trying to find that. Well, there's always uh, the table, um, plates. Um, underneath that you can just go get tiles and stuff from Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever, and just stack them all underneath. Um, blankets, like picnic blankets, picnic blankets. You've got um, other sheets, other fabrics sometimes can look really cool. Pieces of wood just painted. A different texture, a different color. All right, great. Outside of that, what else do you need? Well, obviously you need some good looking food. A lot of food photography comes down to the actual plating, the arrangement of the food. If you don't do that right, I don't care how good the food tastes, it's gonna look a little weird. Case in point. See what I mean? That was delicious, um, but it honestly looks very weird when you plated it. And I was trying to do that for that shoot and it just, you know, that's food photography in a nutshell. I mean, realistically, you have those couple of points, you probably got a pretty decent uh, picture. Please don't, and this is one thing that bothers me to the end of all earth, people get on Instagram and over-saturate, over-correct, but for food, it shouldn't look like it's fake. You want it to look real. Because I'll tell you the trick, and the one thing that I've heard from other food stylists um, and actual people, not just YouTube, is most of the foods you see in commercials and photos is not actually food. A lot of it is very fake, or at least that's how it used to be done with enamel and a bunch of other things. But it's a whole nother video, a whole nother topic. I don't have time for that right now because I started out doing this video on time management after having that conversation realized I don't know anything about time management because I'm horrible at it. So there's your video. Click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.